Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to add master item and factor in web POS. Let's take brief understanding of master item and child item. Here, the master item is product that we purchase in bulk and sell in small units. Let's assume we purchased 50 kilograms of grain in a sack, but we sell it in 500 grams packet after repacking. Then we mark 50 kilograms grain sack as master item and 500 gram packet as child. Whereas child item is 500 gram packet grain which is created from master item, it actually happens when you buy in bulk quantity and sell in small units. Let's see how we create and map these items in the application. First, visit the login page and use the IMS software's provided username and password to sign in. You'll see the software homepage after signing in. Let us look into the master item and conversion factor of product master. Adding a new master item is necessary before mapping it into child item. Let's create grains 50 kilograms as a master item. Fill everything as usual like adding other products but select kg as base unit for this particular master item. Your product grains 50 kilograms has been added. Now for making it a master item you need to add another product. You might need to make a small package from that sack in order to sell it to your customers. Let's add grains half kg as another new product. Fill out everything exactly as you usually do when adding the product. Now, in this unit section, select packet as your unit for this child item. And in the purchase price section, you don't need to enter the purchase rate for this child item. The purchase price that you have set for the master item will be calculated in accordance with the factor. IMS software will only enable you to enter the factor section after you have chosen the master item. Then, in the master area, click on it and press enter to select the newly added grains 50 kilograms as your master item. At this point, you can put the conversion factor of product in the factor field. This is the amount of this child product that will be taken from grains 50 kilograms. Let's enter 0.5 as conversion factor. This means that 0.5 kilograms of grains will be taken out from its master item while doing repacking. First of all, you should have stock of master item. After that, in order to add stock of child item we must go through repacking. Let's see how we repack child item for sales. Click on transaction, then from the drop down menu under inventory movement, select repack entry. It will open up repacking form. Entry number will be auto generated. Now entry date, is voucher posting date it should be default set to repacking date, it shouldn't be changed. After that, Select the warehouse from where you want to perform the repacking entry. Please note that repacking will be done only in a single warehouse at a time, and it should have available stock of master items to be repacked. After that you can also enter ref number or remarks as per your requirement. For now we are gonna take the purchase invoice number of master item. Now, if you click the description area and press enter, the child items you created earlier will be displayed here. You can also manually search those child items on the basis of these filters. Select the child item, and the master item that is mapped with this child item will appear under this master item column. In this section, the unit which is set for this product will be displayed. So now in this quantity section, we will insert 50 and press enter, the purchase rate of the master item and sales price of that child item will be displayed and when you look at the out quantity then IMS software will calculate it according to the factor of that child item. Let's look into this photo, the quantity of child item is 50 which is multiplied by 0.5, that is equal to 25. That means from that grains 50 kilograms, 25 kilograms of grains will be taken out. The rate column will show the purchase rate that you entered while purchasing the product. Sales price, it represents the selling price of child item. 
selling price that you entered in the retail price section while adding child products through the product master, you can also change selling price of the child item as per your requirement in this section. Net amount, unit of that master item, and the master item's deducted quantity details will be auto-generated. You can also choose the manufacturing date and expiry date of the child item as per requirement. Click on the save button or press end on your keyboard to keep your new repack entry. View F4, click on this view button or press F4 on your keyboard to view the list of previous repack entry vouchers. You can also use certain filters such as date, voucher number, amount, and remarks from this drop down. Click on a voucher to see its repack details. Reset F3, click this button or press F3 on your keyboard to clear everything that you have entered on current voucher. Back, click on this button to go to the dashboard. You can also view the report of this repack entry. Click on the report, then from the drop down menu under Inventory Report, select Repack Report. Choose the date range, select the group of the product, then click run to view your repack reports. Now if you look at the stock of that grains half kg, then 50 packet of half kg grains is added. And if you look at the stock of 50 kg grains which is your master item, 25 kg of stock is decreased. This means from the 50 kg grains, 50 packets of grains is separated with 0.5 kg each. You can also view the stock summary report of these products. Go to Report, click on the Inventory Report, from that drop down, select Stock Summary Report. Choose the date range, select the group of the product, then click Run to view the stock summary report of that group. As you can see, the master item's inward quantity, which was added through the purchase invoice 50 kg, is shown here. And in the outward quantity, it is 25 kg which is taken out through repacking. Now if you look at the child item then 50 packets of half kg grains have been added through repacking. We hope this video was useful in understanding repacking, master item, and its processes. If you have any questions you can always reach out to us through IMS support.